I'm Liz Scissors. And today I wanted to share with you just some words of wisdom on education. Since you're watching this video, you obviously are interested in education and growing your knowledge base, which is fantastic. And I am ever so grateful for you choosing to learn from me. I encourage you to pass that along to your friends and coworkers because they all, we all need to always continue to be open to growth and change to help us be better people. Best advice I can give you on education is don't always believe the first person that you hear. Let's be honest. The first person that you learned from had a limited knowledge base, right? They were taught from somebody. Well, who taught them and who taught them? Did they branch out and learn from other people or did they only learn from that one person? Sometimes you'll find that there are a lot of people out there that have a mentality that if it's not broke, don't fix it. That if it worked for them and it's worked for me so far, then I'm just gonna continue doing it the same way. And that's fine. I personally, I'm always open to processes that are easier, that are faster, that are safer, that are maybe more gentle. I'm open. I want to learn if there is some better way of doing something. It's called working smarter, not harder. So we want to take advantage of the fact that the industry is ever evolving, that there are so many people out there that have learned from so many different people that are sharing their knowledge, that there's no reason or excuse to not go learn from lots and lots of people and really help yourself be better equipped to handle any decision you have to make or problem solving skills you need. So the way I've done it is I have a three rule. I need to corroborate three reputable, reliable, respected sources that have taught or have been as successful in the skill I am trying to learn. So what that means is I want to learn scissoring techniques and I learn from somebody that this is the way that I should scissor. And I try and I try and I try and I get by and I'm doing fine, but I'd like to know if that's the right way. So I go learn from somebody else and that person tells me something different and so on and so forth. Sometimes it's a matter of somebody taught you wrong. Sometimes it's, they didn't teach you wrong. It's just, that's how they were taught and maybe it works great for them or they've just acclimated to doing that, that doesn't mean that there isn't a better, easier way, or maybe there's a way that is actually better and easier for you. Maybe that works for them, but it doesn't work for you. And the only way you're ever gonna know that is if you explore that. So go find reputable, respected, reliable, successful sources, at least three. I encourage you to learn from everybody. Now, that being said, there are a whole lot of bad videos out there and there are a whole lot of teachers out there that have no business charging people money to learn from them. And maybe they have a big ego or who knows what the situation is, but there's a lot of people that don't deserve your money or your time because they just don't know what they're doing. But you won't know the fake from the true unless you Fact check them, make sure you are comparing them from teacher to teacher. And that way you know who's teaching you appropriate and who's not. If you have four different people that are teaching you, yes, this is the way that you do it, and they all are successful and all are really talented and you admire what they do, you can count on that as a reliable fact. If you can't, then it probably isn't. Or maybe it's just a matter of they have a different teaching style and it made sense to you the way they taught it versus the way they taught it. So be open to always challenging the information and making sure that it is true and that it works for you. Just because I tell you a certain way that I like to do it based on my knowledge and my education, doesn't mean that you won't find another one or one that works better for you. So don't limit yourself to one teacher, two teachers. Always be expanding your knowledge base. It does nothing but empower you to feel confident and at peace with your decisions and every choice that you make to problem solve or a customer asks you or a fellow coworker or a staff member asks you, you're gonna have multiple options to handle it, hand them and say, here you go, try it this way. And if that doesn't work, you can try it this way. Or this is how I do it, but I've also seen other people do it this way. And you could really help a whole lot of people just based on your knowledge and so on and so forth. And all it does 
is grow our industry in a positive professional direction. So I encourage you to please fact check, make sure you're comparing, make sure the people that you are paying know what they're doing and that they are good at teaching you. Just because they know what they're doing doesn't make them a good teacher. Sometimes it's, we, we can do it, but we can't teach it or vice versa. And some can do both, but I encourage you to just keep on that journey of education. I hope these tips are helpful to you. If you want more information about me, check out lizzizzers.com and I hope to see you on the next one.